advancing trade and investment between Africa and the rest of the world is central to what we do here at Invest Africa. Africa rising means you have a quality partner. You have a quality host to your investment. And it's in the interest of everybody to see Africa rise. I look upon the geopolitical competition as an unusual, once in a generation, historic opportunity for Africa. There's the realization that if you get your ESG and processes and principles right, not only can you attract capital, but you can also find the right investment and ultimately create impact. To call and invite the African companies to be close to COP, we still want this continuation of dialogue and the agendas that matters more to the Africa. The African voice has to be heard. On the external financing side, I just have to say, you know, I, I don't think it's a question anymore of does it matter or not. I think that the big issue is, you know, when people show you the money, mm -hmm. does the money move? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Creating that single digital market, that place is right at the heart. Uh, women and youth uh, for the continent of Africa, and of course, small medium enterprises. Invest Africa, I think, is the premier convening forum for bringing together the right people with the right content and having the right conversation. In the African context, you cannot talk about ESG without uh, acknowledging and also recognizing the growth challenge. What will happen over the next couple of years is that basic industries like healthcare, education, uh, logistics, uh, food, are going to get transformed with technology digitally. The focus is on how to work with various African governments to understand that we should stop exporting raw materials, to do value addition for trade within ourselves and for trade with the rest of the world. I would really say that the focus should be on the collective to build an infrastructure and a facilitating environment that allows intra-Africa trade. The UK is deploying all the tools and resources at our disposal, which I have set out today to maximize the immense opportunities for both Africa and the UK. When you deploy digital technologies to enable payments for trade in local currency, you are enhancing the capability of the small medium enterprise uh, to be more competitive. Africans do have a lot of opportunities on climate and a lot of opportunities on the security related aspects, provided they do the right things. Africa has to industrialize. The African debate is really bringing this, you know, full circle, taking a look at it, you know, through what I'll call different prisms. And this is fantastic. And it's also even put in the untouchable areas uh, on the table.